I'm Australian, I love sport, and I'm a Christian. And I just wanna quickly respond to the Izzy Falau uh, situation with his social media posts, which has caused a huge uproar. The first thing is, Izzy, is it really the smartest way to deliver your message to the Australian public about Jesus, repentance, hell, all of that? Probably not. Jesus came not to condemn the world, but to save the world. It seems like the post uh, from Izzy comes from Galatians 5.19, where it goes through a whole list of different sins, and then it finally says they will not inherit the kingdom of God, which is true, but I don't necessarily think the interpretation of not inheriting the kingdom of God means you go to hell. I mean, I see lots of Christians not inherit the kingdom of God because they live in sin, and there's not that prosperity of the kingdom operating in their life because they're choosing a sin, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to go to hell. His post talks about Jesus saving. It talks about repentance. And they, that's true. Jesus is the solution and we do all need him. Repentance is important. I hope I live a repentive lifestyle every day. Uh, but the full truth is Jesus didn't come to condemn the homosexuals or the fornicators or the drunkards. He came to save them. And that's the point of the Christian message. And as a icon, as a celebrity, uh, posting things about Christianity that focus just on those small truths and not the whole Christian message, man, it's just got to get, get us into trouble. And we've got to be smart in this day and age in approaching uh, the world in a way that we can communicate the gospel without putting them offside. We've got to understand the game that we're playing. Third thing I want to say is the hypocrisy of the mainstream media, uh, Rugby Australia. I mean, everyone really, all the naysayers, I mean, they're taking away a guy's livelihood here because he made some comments that might hurt some people. And I know the homosexuality thing especially is very sensitive in our culture. Like I've said, it's probably not the smartest way to deliver his message, but take away a guy's livelihood. I mean, we're going down a dangerous path in our, in our Aussie culture if we are going to compel people to talk a particular way that keeps other people happy. I mean, what about the fornicator and the drunkard? Like, well, who's making a fuss about them? Are their feelings hurt? I mean, it's just a bit ridiculous. Israel, the name, Israel's Falau's name, means contending or wrestling with God. This guy's just trying to work out his salvation, work out what's wrong and right, like the rest of us. I think all of Australia should cut him a bit of slack. Uh, yeah, it might not be the wisest comments, but he hasn't hurt anyone. Let the guy play rugby. Let the guy say what he wants to say. That's my two bobs worth. Bless you.